Hello, Mr. Ed here. Today is June 22nd, 2019. I'm in Waltheim, Louisiana. It's only about seven miles from the Abbey and only about four or five miles from some of our bee yards right here in Waltheim. And today, we're looking at some bees in the wall right here. You can see where the bees are coming in right here. And uh, it should be a pretty straightforward removal. Pull off the little batten boards, remove the, looks like it's cedar siding. Expose the hive, vacuum some bees. So I think by, by the grace of God, we'll have these bees out of here in a couple hours. It's 8 o'clock in the morning. I'm trying to get this job done before that sun comes up. We're facing east right now, so that sun ought to be beating down on me pretty good. So I want to get it out of here early. So I think uh, with all that, I think it's time to wrangle some bees. I want to show you the bees behind that board before we open it up. So you can see the, the nice big red glow there. It's pretty fair size. Well, there it is. I guess that hive had been here since the early springtime, judging on the cone size of it. Bees look really healthy. They were a little bit irritated when I first came in there, but they're settling down. And once I get that vacuum started, they'll really settle down, start cutting out the comb. I don't see a lot of brood just right here. I mean, I see some of it. I see a lot of capped honey but the bees look very, very healthy. I'm looking at, yeah, I see some more brood now. I see some brood behind that first section of comb. Nice, nice sections of comb here. All right, let's start the vacuum and vacuum the bees. Got the queen cage. Be looking for that queen. Wow, is that a slab of honeycomb or what? Wow, that is really, really pretty. Several layers of, of these slabs. 
lots of honey oh my goodness lots of honey I'm trying to keep the honey and the brood separate that way when I get back up to the Abbey I can get all that stuff done easy I can see some really young larva inside of that comb right there you can see the new stuff on the bottom still haven't seen the Queen I think she's gonna be behind all this stuff still a lot more to cut out all right let's keep at it got the Queen catcher There she is on the ground! Woo! Woo! Look at that! Thank you, Jesus! Woo! <laughs> How about that, folks? Wow! This was this is something I, I cannot believe how many layers of comb are in this wall right here. It's just the construction of it is is so unusual. It's probably eight inches deep, so I think I think we probably have seven layers of, of comb in there. And as I'm going through it layer by layer, and and I'm seeing all this new brood that this queen is laying, and I'm thinking to myself, man, this is going to be an easy queen to find. As much brood as this girl is laying. I mean, her rear end has got to be as big as the dirt rooster's watermelon hands. And, you know, she's pretty close to that size. So thank you, Jesus, for giving us this grace. We'll go ahead and finish cutting uh, this comb out and backing up a few more bees that we got in here and wrapping this deal up. Woo, woo, that is sweet. She is a beaut. Woo <laughs> I want to show where I captured that queen. So when she fell, she fell right down into this area right here and she started walking right to this crack which goes to the inside the bottom of the cabinet 
and I nabbed her right at that spot right there before she got in there. Woo, what a break. <laughs> I figured it may as well, since I got a little break after catching that queen, show y'all what I got left in here. I mean, this is, this is a lot of comb in here. A lot of comb, a lot of honey. Beautiful, beautiful construction of it. A couple more slabs of honey back there and pieces on this side. And thankfully, they never built to the left of this side. So this is all there is. All right, so I'm gonna finish backing these up, cutting out this comb. Well, that just about wraps this one up. Beautiful hive, big, way bigger than I thought it was gonna be. It was very deceptive in the way that there were so many layers behind each other. But in the end, I got all the comb in our ice chests and uh, the brood and separate from the, the honey. And the bees are in the box, and look, look, there's our queen down there. We'll make one more back, and the robber bees are starting to show up. And uh, so we're just about wrapped up with here. I'll show you the, our bees after I get that last vacuum done, and the uh, queen, honey, honey, and all that other good stuff. So let me give you a quick shot of our brood box right here. This is all the, the brood that i got to get back up there and frame that up. And Probably, I don't know, 20, 25 pounds of honey in here. Not bad. I'm gonna go ahead and feed these girls. Here's our bees. Here's our queen. These girls are gonna have to get fed because I am not putting that wet honey in our boxes when the beetles are so <laughs> active. So that's all I got for you on this adventure. <laughs> it was a really nice one, pretty straightforward, simple. Sun didn't beat down on me too hard. Uh, we were fortunately in the shade. There was a lot of trees above me, so it wasn't that bad. Probably took about two and a half hours to do this job. And now we're headed up to the Abbey and frame these things up. So thanks for watching. Keep on watching. I'll be making more. God bless. Mr. Ed. I'm out of here until the next video. Hey, mister, why are there bees flying around your car right here? Because my truck's so sweet. <laughs> <laughs> is it the truck or is it you? <laughs> it's not me. That's what I was Wait, smelling. Don't show the paper towel. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? What is all this in here? Man, you got this thing looking good back here. This is a week's worth of... This is clean, actually. This is a week's worth of uh, running and gunning all hours. It gets worse. Yeah. This is, I see you got some of your fine equipment in the back of your truck. I do. Right these now. are my finest frames. Nice. In good shape. That's very nice. Just to show you how fast these beetle larvae hatch. It's only been two days. And look, it's already hatched out. I'm telling you, you have got to process this stuff really quick before it turns into slime. Nasty.